I'm Shalini Stabel Lawton, and I'm the part-time high school counselor here at AISK. And I'm Marie Reynolds, and I am the elementary school and middle school counselor here at AISK. Social emotional wellness can be thought of as having five main pillars, self-awareness, self-management, responsible decision-making, social awareness, and relationship skills. So let's talk about self-awareness. Self-awareness is the ability to have a healthy recognition of one's emotions and thoughts, as well as strengths and limitations. Self-awareness can enable one to face difficult situations and to push through and thrive in spite of the circumstance and the challenge. Let's discuss self-management. So self-management is the ability to turn up or down, think of like a volume button, your thoughts, emotions, and feelings. It's the ability to be able to manage one's reaction and response so that it's context appropriate and it's also appropriate to whatever the incident or the situation is. Self-control, controlling one's behavior, one's impulses, thinking before you act mm -hmm. and being able to manage stress mm -hmm. so that you come through whatever the situation is appropriately. And so what are some suggestions on how it is that we can practice self-management? Well, one of the things in terms of helping young people to learn self-management is the example again sorry to be putting it on the adults but the first place children will learn how to manage themselves is by watching our example mm -hmm. how do we manage our strong emotions if we can stop when we're angry for example to think and calm ourselves and even tell our children how we're doing that mm -hmm. so that we can manage our emotions that sets the example and children will in will take that in. Practice what you would like your children to do. Mm -hmm. Practice what you want to see in your children. 